YouTube, it's iHack, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak and unlock the iPhone 2G, 3G, and the 3GS on the 3.1.3 firmware. There's four files you need to download if you have a 2G, but if you have a 3G or 3GS, all you need to download is Red Snow and the jailbroken firmware. The two things that you need to download if you have a 2G are the two bootloaders, so you don't have to worry about that if you do have a 3G. All you need to worry about is these two programs. So the first thing off, you want to make sure your iPhone is plugged in, make sure it is connected, and then you're going to open up Red Snow. Also, all the links will be um, in the video description. They will be them there for Mac and Windows. So once you have Red Snow, you're going to open up Red Snow right here. Then you can X out of the folder. It's a little welcome screen, and this is where you're going to browse for the uh, current firmware that you're going to be uh, jailbreaking on. So you're going to browse. Make sure you save everything to your desktop so it's easier to find. I'm going to scroll down, and there's mine. I have max ones on here. I'm pretty sure this, this, is, the, uh, this is the one for Windows. And you're going to open. It's going to process the firmware. It takes a couple seconds. Also, guys, I am doing this on the iPhone 2G. It does work for the 3G and 3GS. I did, I've done it for my friends' phones. I only have a 2G. It does work. Alright, then you'll see the IPSW that was successfully identified. Once it says that, you're going to click on Next. It's now going to prepare the jailbreak. And now it's going to bring you to an options uh, screen. It's basically going to give you options like installing Cydia, verbose boot, custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, unlock, and already pulled. We're just going to do the basics today. We're going to install Cydia, make sure that's checked, and we're going to unlock. So make, so make sure those two things are checked. After that, you're just going to click on Next. Now, this is for iPhone 2G owners. This is where we download the bootloaders. If you do not have a 2G and you have either have a 3G or 3GS, you probably won't even get this screen. If you do, you just click Next. Since I'm doing this on the 2G, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my bootloaders and you're going to line them up. This one says 3.9 bootloader, the first one, and it's going to say BL39, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open it. Then this one says 4.6 bootloader. I'm going to browse and I'll find the BL. Four six. I'm going to open. After those are in, I'm going to click on next. Now we're going to make sure the iPhone is off. So I'm going to shut off my iPhone. Hold the home button and I'm slide the power off. Give it a couple seconds. Also, before you jailbreak and unlock, make sure your iPhone is restored at the 3.1.3 firmware before you do anything. Once it's off, you can click on Next. Make sure I have my iPhone out. And what you're going to do is you're going to now you're going to hold the home button. I mean the power button for three seconds. Then you're going to hold the home bu button for ten seconds. Once that goes away, then you're going to release the power button, and you're going to keep holding on to the power until your screen turns white and red snow changes. See how red snow stays? You can now let go of the home button, and now it's going to start jailbreaking your iPhone. Now it says, uh, please wait while your device is being processed. On the iPhone, it should say downloading jailbreak data. And on Red Snow, it should say uploading RAM disk. This just takes a couple minutes to uh, jailbreak and unlock. It doesn't take long at all.
and now it says uploading kernel. And now in red snow it should say rebooting and it should say done. Once it says done, you're going to click finished. Now that you're done with the computer, it's all on the iPhone now. Now you can have a little pineapple thing, flashing north. Let me just fix my camera. Now it's installing the bundles. Just a couple more minutes. Almost there. Now it's uh, activating. Syncing the file systems, and it should reboot now. There we go. iPhone should be now rebooting. Turn itself on. And now it's going to bring up the boot booter. It's just the auto mode. It's going to show how it says it's going to be unlocking. It's going to um, stuff will, the iTunes will basically pop up back up on your uh, computer. And you just X out of that. One comes up, and now it's now rebooting. That whole step is just watching. You don't have to do anything. It's just showing you that it did unlock. If you saw it, it said unlock. It was on and off, and it said on. So you don't have to worry about that step. And there we go. And now you can see, there's Cydia. It's now jailbroken. And we'll go show you that it is the 3.1.3 firmware. Let me just blow down my brightness so you guys can really see something. General, about... There it is, if you can see it, 3.1.3. .3. Alright, now, even though it still says no service in my top left hand corner, this is where I don't have a SIM card in right now, but now you can enter any SIM card as in T-Mobile, AT&T. Throw it right into the top of the iPhone 2G. To get that, you see this little hole right there? Try to take a um, toothpick or a paper clip and you just stick it in there and push and it pushes out and that's where you enter the SIM card and take it out. So if you guys have any questions, um, please comment, message me. If you have any problems, please message me. I'll try to help you out best I can. And thanks guys, please subscribe.